Welcome back. It is one frigid day in Nairobi. We are freezing. I feel like someone took Nairobi, placed it in a freezer and didn't even give us a notice. Anyway guys, um, some people have been leaving comments in my video saying show people the real Africa, you know, stop lying to the world and I'm like, what? What do you mean? Okay, let me take you down to the real, <laughs> to the real streets. Welcome to Kibera. They say this is the biggest, the largest, and the poorest slum in the whole of Africa. According to research, it has over 2.5 million dwellers. The total population of Nairobi is 4 million. So does that mean that over half of the people in Nairobi live in the slum? As you can see, today I am in Kibera. This is, as they say, one of the biggest, the largest and the poorest slum in Africa. But is it really true? Today I'm here to change the narrative, to dispute what they actually tell you on media. Like see, for example, they tell you there are no roads, just look. Um, I'm not saying that you don't have slums. I'm not saying slums are not as poor as they say. What I'm saying is that they actually exaggerate some things. You can see there's so much life here. Um, but then on media they'll show you children sitting down next to the you know gutter with you know flies on their nose crying. You know life is different. Things are totally different from what you see on the media. By the time you finish watching this video, I hope I'll have changed your pers perspective or your perception about Africa and African slums and Africa in general. Yo guys, so it's a very cold morning here in Nairobi. It is extremely cold. We are freezing. Uh, I wanted to show you this beautiful outfit. I'm dressed by um, Duke's fashion line from Ghana. These guys have the best, the best African print. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box. So in case you want, you can actually get this from them. My outfit of the day. I will have worn it for you, but you know, it's extremely cold. So I'm like, do I just remove it or do I just put it on? I'm like, what do I do? Leave a comment. You think I should have just rocked this bomb outfit in this cold weather? Will this make you, you know, subscribe? I'm a, what do you think? <laughs> Guys, so I am right in the middle of the slums of Kibera. And standing here, it doesn't feel like it, you know? It really doesn't. This place is bustling, it's full of life, and I'm still with African traveler. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let me give you just some uh, facts about Kibera. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll start with the fake. So, um, so the, what some of the fake facts about Kibera, they say it's the biggest and the largest uh, slum, in, among the largest slum in the world and the largest in Africa. This is because they estimate the population to be about between 1 million to 2.5, which is a total fallacy. Because in, in, in 2009 census in Kenya, Kibera showed it has only 170,000, uh, uh, contrary to the opinion that most NGOs are the so ones So why do you think the NGOs are exaggerating? So Kibera has one, one of the highest NGOs NGOs per square mile. So if we say we wow. have in the world actually it has the highest. If we say the population is 171,000, you won't have so as many donors as possible. So they so are lying so that they get more donors. They fake it uh, so that they at least uh, they can still prove the fact that uh, I will show you the you, you saw the drone shot. The population, the, the place doesn't look good, uh, big. Uh, so yeah, it's actually it's, it's actually 0.5 percent of Nairobi land. I was shocked to realize that NGOs actually say the population of Kibera is about two million. Yeah. Two million. Yeah. Nairobi only has a population of about four million oh, people. Um, so do you mean that half of Nairobi is Kibera living in 0.5 percent of the land? So it that's doesn't... absolutely false, guys. Yeah. It's not true. Yeah. This is what they show you on TV. This is what they want you to see. But you wanna show you the real Nairobi. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. This is part of Nairobi. But this is not all of it. Yeah, so we say guys, yeah, there are so many people also families struggling here and you're not we're not telling you guys not to support them. But the best thing is come and see, visit if you're giving donation from whichever country you are. Also come on the ground and see for yourself. And don't don't always see guys, do you see people with the insect on the mouth? Yeah, you know how they put a mosquito um, <laughs> a mosquito. 
flies you know Newcastle. children just sitting in sewage what you're trying to tell you is it's not that places like this don't exist yeah, they do, do exist. but these people exaggerate yeah to that to a bigger extent so. yeah as in me I used to think that you can't even come to Kibera and walk because you're actually will scared. You. They were like, no, let's yeah. go to Kibera. There's so much life. Look at we, us. We no parked here. Us. No one is asking. Really? Everyone is going on with their, their business. business. So Don't a, believe everything you see on TV. Please come to Africa. If you really need to support the kids here, some of them are struggling in school fees and stuff. Don't forget. Don't. It's come okay. and support them. Yeah. Come and support them. But uh, don't believe everything that you see. Oh, Kenyans are so hardworking, especially here in the slums. People are hustling. People are grinding. It's impressive. Anyway, now that we have shown you this side of Nairobi, let's go and show you the other side that you probably don't see on TV. <laughs> So if I showed you this beautiful, big, elegant mansions and condos, would you actually believe this is Kenya? Anyway, let's not jump so far ahead. First, let's go to the CBD. Guys, uh, now we are in the CBD. We are in town here in Nairobi. It's freezing cold. And as you can see behind me, we have skyscrapers. You know, we have beautiful buildings all around. You know, we have clean streets. Yani, this is Nairobi. I'm still with African Traveler. Hey. Yo guys, we're still together and we're going to show you guys more of what the city has uh, rather than what the main mainstream media shows you guys. So yeah. stick to the channel guys. Yeah, tell us, are you, are you proud to be Kenyan? I'm more than proud to be Kenya and African. <laughs> what makes you proud to be African and what makes you proud to be Kenyan? Um, what makes me proud to be African? It's my heritage. Uh, what makes me proud to be Kenyan? This is my motherland. This is where I came from and they just love the skull of my skin yeah. like it protects me from the sun at all times and melanin popping you so, guys you know um me i've traveled a lot and traveling you know traveling makes you appreciate what you have so traveling a lot i have come to learn that you know kenyans we're actually blessed you know we are actually developed i know there is kenya is not perfect we have corruption going on you know it, it's sad we have tribalism, but I think it's going down. I don't know. <laughs> I hope so. We're, I really hope so. We're, we're, heading, to right we're heading to election period, so I just hope you guys will be more mature this time. Exactly. Yeah, so, Me, I'm half no. Luo, half Kyuk, so like, tribalism is like yeah, zero. The level of intermarriage is right now in Kenya is just on another level. And they need to keep rising. Yes, and the, yeah, we need to kill this uh, tribalism. tribalism, corruption thing. Because the country is headed for the right direction. I know, so, right? Yeah. So when, when when I walk in my city and I see these buildings and you, I feel like they are doing improvements. Look at the pathway. This one not here. Mm -hmm. This is something new and in Nairobi. It's changing every and on, the, on, on so many streets. The, the marking, you know. Marking I saw your road. video. Uh -huh. oh, when you're when showing us the way Nairobi has changed. Yeah. That was really dope. You know. Thank you. I also saw the same for you on your channel. Oh, that yeah? you did this. Guys, yeah. if you're thinking of, if you love watching Nairobi, I have guys in the US and uh, in uh, Europe who love watching Kenya and stuff like that. This is the, this is your plug. Yeah. This guy, he basically moves around Nairobi to show you guys, you know, the streets, what's happening, what's popping, the dope places. Yeah. So I'm gonna leave his link in the description box. Make sure you check him out. Yeah, guys, uh, just subscribe if you want. If you plan to relocate to Kenya or Africa, just for and just to see the different face of Kenya or Kenya. Uh, just subscribe to my channel and I'm sure you love it. This is us driving through the beautiful streets of Nairobi. Are you yeah. seeing you guys? What? Beautiful like no one's business. This is Nairobi on Sundays. Yeah. No people. Just easy. It's, it's very chilly. It's a chilly morning. It's very cold. <laughs> it's cold. Um, <laughs> so me I take a lot of Nairobi's coffee. Freezing. Yeah, beautification is still going on. So long time ago, I used to love the sun until it, you know, it just got on me now. Sunburns all the time, so hot, sweating all the time. These days, um, I feel like I just love cold weather. I prefer cold weather to hot weather. Leave a comment. Let me know what kind of person are you? Are you like me or um, do you love the sun? 
one, a guy is one of the oldest buildings yeah, in it was, Kenya. At, at one time, it was the tallest building in Kenya. What? Yes. For yes, reals? Yes. I give away it's like one floor. <laughs> yeah, it was the tallest building. Can you uh, believe it? When it was built, it was one floor, and the tower made it one of the tallest buildings. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I think we should make a vlog of the historical buildings in Nairobi. Ah, yeah. There's the stand big building, it was the first building with a lift. Really? Yeah, it was the first what? building. That, that's amazing, that's crazy. Yeah, we have, uh, we have a Norfolk Hotel just in front of here. It was mm -hmm. the first hotel, five star hotel, something like that. Mm -hmm. It was uh, it, in, in, in 2004, 2000, 2004, I think it. It marked a hundred years. So it's just what? from Bali. So wow. there's so many buildings with a great history. So I hope one day we we'll put up the time to find it to Kayo. Uh, I'd love to. Mm. There's so many buildings in Tao. Okay, so much history. It's really interesting. Guys, leave a comment. Do you think yeah. we should do that video with yeah. him? That would be dope. Let us know. But you know, your wish is a command. So you just have to say it and you're going to do it. Okay. Okay. Kabisa. <laughs> So this is the Nairobi Expressway. So this is a, will be one of the mega infrastructure in uh, Nairobi. Really? Yeah, yeah. So there will be a flyover of about almost six, seven kilometers above, you know. Wow. And I think it will be among the first uh, roads with a toll. So a toll station. So. Oh, nice. The construction has commenced and it's on a fast pace. So I'll be updating you guys on my channel in the near future on the same project. So the thing is, here in Nairobi, we don't have toll stations yeah. on roads. Yeah. But I guess now, guys, you'll have to start paying. Yes, yes. For how long? For about 30 years. 30 years. Are you fine? Yeah, yeah because uh, the ready? government is not building the road. Huh? Who's building the road? So it has, been, uh, it has been given to a Chinese company. Mm -hmm. So the Chinese company is building the road. And uh, as soon as they recover their cash, which is going to be about almost 40 years, if I'm not wrong. That's the time they'll hand it over to the government. So Kenyans prepare themselves. <laughs> We have a lot of uh, office space coming in. Um, we're gonna show you Kilimani, we're gonna take you to Runda, we're gonna take them to Kitusuri. Amazing! Yeah, cool. Welcome to Kilimani, beautiful, ain't it? This used to be a residential area, but right now, lots of offices are coming up. And um, yeah, we can't complain. <laughs> the roads are really nice. It's a very safe area. Yes, yes, yes. Here in Kenya, in Africa, we also have beautiful gated communities, luxury homes, people are living large in case you think all of africa is poor you gotta think again well i don't know about you but i love the fact that we also have such places in africa peaceful look at the trees you know uh wonderful places people are living large and um, yeah, I just want to let you know that you can live large in the continent. You don't have to go outside. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think about it. Make sure you go over to his channel and subscribe. Please, 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 please. If you need to know Nairobi, please don't forget to click on that to come to my channel. Yeah, he has amazing drone shots, Yanni. And yeah. his videos are those chilled out videos that you just enjoy watching. That's it, guys. Thank you.